Hi friends, every week my sister attends a prayer meeting with her friends on Zoom. Only two days back she attended the prayer. Today is not the day for her weekly prayer. But why is she going to attend the meeting now? What could be the reason? Come on friends, let's find out. Hello everyone, how are you all? Hope you are safe by the grace of God. What happened Jonathan? Why suddenly this meeting now? Joel, there is a reason for this meeting. Guys, yesterday I was chatting on WhatsApp with Glenn. He sounded so depressed. No church, no Sunday school, no school, no play. All these things have stressed him out. So, I thought we should share the Sunday school lesson that we learned on the weapon to win every war with him. What do you say, friends? Oh, yes, I'm sure, Jonathan, that this lesson will help him out just as it had helped us. But where is Gwen? Hey, Trip, see, Gwen is joining. Hi, Gwen. Hi. I'm not sure how to answer in every way, physically, mentally, spiritually, financially. I am maybe between bad and worse. <sighs> Unless the situation has different plans in store. I bet the show is stressed out. Yes, Rippy, yes. Really, truly, completely, certainly, definitely he is. Come on guys. Talking like this is not going to help him in any ways. Yes, Joel is right. Glenn, whatever state you are, however you are, be patient for some time and listen to the story. It is about a king who did an unexpected and a surprising act when he had a big problem. Yeah, he was the king of Judah. One time, during his rule, not one army, three armies came to fight against the king. The Ammonites, the Moabites, and the... And the... Mm. Oh, I forgot the third people group. Ammonites, Moabites, and mosquito bites. Salvation of the Lord. Come on, 
guys. Whoever is in trouble will turn right and go straight to God. I don't see any surprising or unexpected things about this King Jehovah. For example, when I do not do my homework or even when I do not study for a test, I have prayed to God very, very honestly that God should give a holiday or the teacher should be absent. It's universal truth, guys. Come on. Yes, Glenn. Very true. Anyone in trouble will sure pray. They will even fast and pray. So it was nothing unexpected. The surprise element is yet to come. Expect the unexpected. True, Shruti. The next day, when King Jehoshaphat and his army went out towards the enemy army, he told everyone, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Right, Jaden. Then he appointed singers to sing to the Lord and praise the beauty of holiness. King made these singers go before their army. What? Singing and praising God when it was time to fight and as they were going towards the enemies? It's very ridiculous. No, Glenn, it's not ridiculous. It actually was miraculous, marvelous, fantabulous. This was that unexpected and surprising thing that the king did. Then an unbelievable thing that started to happen. To Olive, as they were singing and moving towards the battlefield, the Lord God made the three enemy armies fight against each other and when the king and his armies came to the battlefield all they could see was dead bodies fallen on the earth no one had escaped king jehoshaphat and his army did see the salvation of the lord they also saw that there was so much of valuables like gold silver money and many more on the dead bodies it took three days for these people to gather the rich spoil. Then they thanked God with stringed instruments, harps, trumpets and returned to Judah. To Jonathan, the battle is not yours but God's, echoed in the hearts of the people. The king and his people took victory over their enemies just by singing and praising God. Amazing story, guys. Incredible. I feel so happy and stress-free on hearing the story. Yes, Glenn. No matter how the situations are, praising God will make God happy and it also will work wonders in our lives. Well said, Joel. Friends, are you sick or sad? Is any of your friends or relatives having problems, health problems, money problems, family problems? Whatever be the name of the problem, whatever be the name of the problem, there is one name which is above all these names. It is the name of Jesus. By praising Him, we can be free from our problems. It is just the right weapon to win any war in our lives. So let's all start praising God, dear friends. Yes, Olive, it is very true. From now on, I will keep singing praises to the Lord. Thank you, friends, for helping me out of the stress. I am set free. I am so happy. Guys, I would like to say a verse of praise which is in Psalms 104 verse 33. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. 
I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. Wow, beautiful words, Jaden. Let us also learn this verse. Friends, as of now, I think it's time. But don't forget to join our fellowship prayer as usual. I hope henceforth Glenn will join too. Yes, yes. So, bye guys. Bye.